that thing looks mean, uh -huh. man. Uh -huh. no, no. What are we looking at, man? Jared. Supernatural is more like oh, it. I wish I could afford one. Yeah, it's, uh, we turn Ford. You ever need somebody to test drive your cars for like a year? What's going on, YouTube? So, man, look, I'm a little bit of a car lover. I, I, I dabble in the car stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, when I heard today that the 2024 Ford Mustang GT dropped, I had to go see it. I had to come see it. So, with that being said, we're going to go watch the video for it. Man, Mustangs, I know I know it's not a Bugatti or a, a Ferrari or anything like that, but hey, man, as long as the Mustang ain't running over crowds, I... I digress so let's get to the video the 2024 mustang man make sure you, if you have not already make sure you like and subscribe all that youtube dark i gotta say but hey man hey please please subscribe help one brother out i want to get it to at least a thousand subscribers man please anyways without further ado let's get to the video I actually really like the grill. I'm not gonna cap. We'll come back to this. We'll scroll all the way through to the actual Mustang. But, yo, I, I, get me back here. Let's just, this shot right here. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? This shot right here, bruh. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. I I want it. It reminds me of Kit. It reminds me of Kit, man. It it looks good. It, I actually I actually really like this one. The only thing the only thing so far that I do not like. Oh, that looks good. I really like. I like this one a lot. Look, so the first the last gen, when it came out in like twenty fifteen. I wasn't a fan of the grill. It had to grow on me at first, you know, but I like this. This looks really good, really aggressive. It has a little bit of a classic feel to it, too, because it's more boxy and square in the front grill. And then, obviously, the 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 rear of these cars, they, they make them look all the same, and I love it. I love that they keep that. It looks icy, but I do not like the one thing I don't like right now. I don't like this. I don't like this part. That's the only gripe I have. I don't like this. I don't like the dash. The dash kind of, the one thing I do like that they've always done with Mustangs is they kind of keep that same iconic look of the dash. I don't, I don't, I don't got, I don't have that feeling with this one. And then I just don't like this part being conjoined. Other than that, I can obviously get over it, man. I could get over it car looks dope so 
Do I want one? Hell fucking yeah, I do. Hell yeah, I do. Ford. You ever need somebody to test drive your cars for like a year? I'm your man. Now let's go real quick and we'll shuffle through. We'll skip all the way through to the the unveiling and hear what they got to say about it. But yeah, let's let's go. GT looks good, man. I tell you what. Customer, and as you saw in that amazing film earlier, <laughs> of course, up. Mustang is an American icon, but it's also a global icon. Yes, it is. I've been super lucky and been able to live and work in, in different countries. So I've had a front row seat right. to how our enthusiasts across the globe just love that Mustang spirit. The pressure was on for sure, uh, but we have kept the spirit of Mustang. We have got that V8 soundtrack. We've got the manual transmission. We've got that open air top down fun. But we've also injected it with new features and technologies to take that Mustang experience up a notch. I like it and don't like it at the same time. It, I do see what they tried to put, like, but it's, it kind of takes it away, but it is nice. I just don't like it all being right there for even like, uh, you know, let me know in the comments. I might be alone in that one, but uh, uh, it's just, it's dope. Don't get me wrong. It's dope. I just don't, I don't know how, I don't know how I feel about it all being connected like that. Give me more, give me a separate little area. You know what I'm saying? Saying, what else have you uh, got? Yeah, we've Let's also got some really cool new performance features. Uh, we've got one that I know you are going to love. It's an electronic drift brake. Very cool. Yep. And we've also got a new feature called Remote Rev. It is 100% Mustang fun. No apologies. Oh. It's for our customers that just love the sound of their Mustangs. You can rev your throttle directly from the palm of your hands from your key fob. <laughs> Super cool. That's so cool, yeah. right? I mean, okay, this might be a real weird question because I really highly, I highly doubt you can do it. But can you do it with a with a manual? That would be sick. That's a, a that's a dope feature. Don't get me wrong. That is a dope. You can rev your car from your key fob. But I really want to know: Can you do it with a with a manual? You know what I'm saying? I highly doubt it. But if you can. Ford, oh my god. On the previous Mustang, people liked the pony lighting, and we just took it a step further with the new Mustang. So as okay. you approach, you'll see animated Ooh. lighting that just greets you. And then when you climb in and you see the new cockpit, it looks like a jet fighter. That was the inspiration behind the design. So we've just added a lot of digital tech into this new cockpit. I, I mean, really look at like it. I'm not even going right to there. You can see it here on the big screen. And okay. You're talking about Jet Pilot. We've probably all seen Top Gun. If you haven't, you live under a rock, either the old one or the new one. <laughs> so, you know, I, I can't wait to uh, take this for a quote-unquote test flight. It's, it's pretty, it's a game changer. So give us the details I more about it. the Oh, I don't. I, it has yeah. kind of some heritage look here as well, yeah. some inspiration. What do we got? It absolutely does. You know, the seventh gen Mustang is a modern interpretation of Mustang's iconic design heritage. I mean, just check it out. Proportions, stance, the silhouette. Yeah. Go check out it the front. Let's go. Let's go. Great. Let's go. Let's go. Tip to tail okay. here. From it the front looks. End to the back it looks end. great, what we man. Got? Again, seeing some lines, seeing yep. some right. pieces. Hold on. I don't. But I don't. I don't. Right, right. I can see so this. I can see this. It looks great. Gen, but let's, we wanted let's to give it an aggressive look. Just so got that. This is what we need to hear, man. All right, Ed. Because the heart of the beast, you're going to talk about the power, the story, what's going on. Okay. You're going to get these guys absolutely hyped. But talk through performance. Break it down. Yeah, performance is everything. It is our legacy. It is our future. All right. It's much more than zero. Stop sugarcoating it. What is it's it? It's the rumble of the V8. It's three pedal driving. <laughs> it's carving the canyons. Yes, it's sir. open day, open air cruising. 
and it's certainly the track day. It's visceral, it's emotive. Big buzzwords, big buzzwords, big but buzzwords. how much horsepower? Words. So come how much on, man. torque? Hit him with it. Did y'all drop me some what weight? You and the team have done. Let me know. Let's get into the hardware. Starts with the V8, five liter, Gen 4, at 480 plus horsepower. The most powerful Mustang GT. Okay, 480. Ever. That's uh, I think Next. it's like 460 something. I need that weight. I need that weight Next. dropped. The manual <laughs> lives. Let's go. Hashtag save the manual. Hashtag save the. Okay, chat. This this might be another dumb question. Is there any way that they could make like a? Uh, it'd be it'd be weird. It'd be a very weird way to do it. But is there any way they can make like an electric car with a stick? Because you know it looks like we're going to the like the electric way. You know. Uh, but this, never mind. This might. Uh, I, I feel dumb asking the question. Never mind. Manual. We can't forget about our very popular 2.3 liter EcoBoost, all new for this generation. It delivers on the about balance the of performance no. and efficiency. No compromise. Next, I gotta talk steering and handling. Please do. It's next level. Next level. Okay. It starts with our all new Ron Gittin Jr. wheel. It's set for grip it and rip it. And then lastly, I want to highlight the electronic park brake, the electronic drift brake, I should say. Co-developed with Vaughn and his team. It is, it is ready to rip. So you can try to, your hand at drifting like a pro. I know we did. Tire budget blown. <laughs> Everybody wants to be Vaughn getting junior nowadays, that's right? right yeah. That's right. He's my I mean, hero. it's more like <laughs> Ken Block, but hey, man, you know, I, I get what you Vaughn's pretty damn evidence. good. He's better, it's but you know what I'm saying. Man. Vaughn's awesome. better, but What do you, you guys know. think? So. <laughs> Horsepower, good looks, you know, eco boost, all these things. That's it, dude. Congratulations. See you guys. Good night, everybody. That's the 2024 seventh Thanks generation for Ford Mustang. See you guys, right? We're done? No, no, don't get up. Don't get up. We're not done. See ya. No, no. We got more room in the stable. Oh, what's this? Don't tell me they got a Shelby too, right? Don't what tell me that? they got the Shelby too. All Come right. on. Let's talk performance series. We got a history. Shelby, Mach 1, Boss, Bullet. Roush. It's integral to the Mustang story. What do you got? What do you got? Each has a deep meaning to Please our Please tell me they're bringing back the Boss. And to our team, as you saw in the video. Others may be bringing down the curtain. We say it's time to raise the curtain on a new performance pony. Let's take a look. It's electric. It's more like your electric, huh? Yeah, it's electric. Okay, no. I think it looks mean. The Shut dark horse, thing that no thing idea. looks over, mean, uh, man. Uh, no, no. What are we looking at, man? Jared, this is Dark Horse. First of its name. First new performance series in more than two decades. A new chapter in a storied racing history of Ford Motor Company and Mustang. Its name is indicative of its design and its aspirations. I think it's so clean. Its demeanor, clean. absolutely sinister. Dark Horse is for the enthusiast who wants purebred force of nature. All right, so you talk about nature, but this is, uh, I mean, this is absolutely supernatural, is more like oh, about I all wish the details. I could Come on. One. Yeah, it, uh, we turned up the volume it's on so everything that mattered. Striking visual cues, 
countless hours of iteration between this our car is so and aggressive and it looks right so high good speed handling reduced drag cooling all essential driver focused interior is capped off with serialized badge drive modes track apps right at your fingertips talking about the exterior you're going to see the pony in your rear view mirror but unique fender and deck lid badges are going to be a subtle indication of what just flew past you. <laughs> Let her know. Dark horse. Peace. All right, under the skin, what do we have? So uh, what's, what's under the hood? What's the heart? Well, I like to talk about engines. Let's, let's do that. Yeah, let's go. Still got engines. Uh, it starts with the most powerful Coyote ever, targeting 500 horsepower. 500 horsepower. That has made it with a tried and true manual transmission from Let's Tremec go. that's evolved from our Let's GT350 go. and Mach 1, and we have some fans. <laughs> Chassis tied down with the MagnaRide with next generation controls and absolutely designed to stick to the road. Our team lived at the racetrack, spent hours turning every knob. Every knob turned to 11. Oh my gosh, this car With the looks available so handling good. Pack, this is the absolute most capable five liter yet. Five modes. Yo, I can't lie, right. man. This car is clean. Like, it looks so damn good. It looks so damn good. This, I, I already like this one. There's only one thing that I'm not a fan of, but I would get over it. I can easily get over it. This car looks great. This car looks so good. Ooh, I can't wait till they start getting the specs on this thing and start testing uh, zero to 60s. Yeah, I want to hear the torque though. I want to hear how much torque. I want to hear what the weight is. Because I remember, I remember the, when you passed the torque between the, uh, what is this, Gen 7? Well, the, I forgot. It well, the I think it was the 2014 to the 2015 Mustangs. The 2014s were still faster than the 2015s because of um, how much how much heavier, and they only went up like maybe 10 horsepower. How much heavier the the 2015? So the 2013 14s were still faster. So I hope that's not the case for these. We'll have to see. You know, like looks good. Damn. The dark horse looks so good, bro. Oh, it's gonna be dope to see those. We are definitely gonna cover it for sure. Make sure, man. If you ain't already, make sure you like, subscribe, all that YouTube drug, and I gotta stay. You know, turn on them notification bells as well, bro. Anyways, I will see you on the next one. Make sure I'm smart for cheese. Keep them thumbs up, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.